Hi there, magicians of maths classes. I discussed portfolio in the previous video. One of the problems that having a portfolio always brings up is how do we know how many sheets should be there in the portfolio. So one of the systems I had and a kind of an admin system was to put up a sheet on a board that gives that's like the master sheet where all that should be in the students files is listed along with the date. So it would be project 15 June blah blah blah. Uh, assignment, formative assessment 4 July, summative assessment and it would be listed as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So they knew that they should have about 15 to 16 sheets in the portfolio. The teacher maintains a main list and the students compare it with them. Now, if you have a teacher like me, I made errors in the main list also. So sometimes we had an argument because my main list would have 14 and a student would say, no, we're supposed to have 16 in our portfolio. So I had an amazing experience through this. I discovered that there was a particular student who was fantastic in creating and managing his portfolio. So I said, okay, you be the in charge of the master list. And that student wasn't very good in maths and therefore he was looked down by the other children. He wasn't popular. But because he became the portfolio in charge, all the students would go to him and ask, how many am I supposed to be? How is it that you have 21? I have only 16. And they would quickly do a comparison and it would help everybody figure out where they were missing. And the class bonded around him. He became confident because he felt he was worth something in the class. My job became easier. I didn't have to manage the master list. He managed it beautifully. And I had another student in the class who broke through the bounds of low self-esteem in the maths class. It was incredible. So if you are also one of those who was always struggling because students have different number of sheets in their portfolios, Try putting up a list on the board and see if there is any student in the class who is fantastic in managing his portfolio. Shouldn't be someone who is a monitor or a prefect or someone who is already great in maths. It would be better if it is somebody who never gets a chance to come forward. And let that student be the master for the main portfolio list. He or she is the in charge. And you would be doing so much for the children in that class. You would be helping them developing the life skill to manage the portfolio. But along with that, you would also be helping them develop the life skill of accepting each other. Thank you for listening from Humane Maths. Happy teaching.